me show you what's going on here, okay? All right, so you can see the female, and this is the one that's making calls, and I am right because this is the speckled chest osprey, okay? So there she is on the tree branch, and this is as far as I can zoom in, okay? And she's got one talon up, one foot up, so that's a good sign, okay? And then on the light pole, we have the male, okay? We have Fearless Tom right here. I still need a name for the female. I haven't named the female yet, but you can't really see him very well because of the trees obstructing the view. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to just crawl my way back to the Osprey just like I did that one time. All right, so he might be camera shy. I really hope he's not camera shy. Don't be shy. Don't be camera shy, Osprey, okay? This is the coolest Osprey that I've seen yet. Wow, look at that. You can't get this kind of footage anywhere. Like, you can't get this kind of close-up anywhere. You can only get it from here at St. Mary's Lake. Such a beautiful Osprey. Of course, the female is also beautiful as well. Wow, that is so beautiful. Like, look at this osprey. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. No, just stay right there. Stay right there. No, 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 don't leave. No. Maybe I should film the female just in case. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. It's all right. Tom's closing his eyes. Tom was closing his eyes for a second. <sighs> so nice. So nice, Osprey. So he does sometimes open and close his eyes sometimes. Uh-oh, no, no, no. Close your eyes like this. Like this. Hey, I've got a good idea. No bird can resist a french fry, except for a raptor. Now, I know this is kind of stupid, but you know that ospreys are known as seahawks or seabirds in many ways, and seagulls are like seabirds too. So if you figured, well, an osprey is a seabird, then an osprey should be able to go for this french fry.
One, two, three. It did nothing. The osprey just stood there like a bump on a log. There was no head bobbing movement whatsoever. Probably because it wasn't a big enough of a piece. I've been tricked to think that they bob their head towards any kind of movement, but I guess that's not really true. They only bob their head when I give them a fish. But they only seem to bob their head and that's it. They don't do anything else. So I'm trying to get behind this mystery once and for all. All right, how about another piece? This one's for you, female. One, two, three. Any head bobbing? Nope. Female didn't head bob, the male didn't head bob. Hmm. What if I threw it in between both Osprey? You think that'll work? Let's do it in between. I'll grab a nice long piece of french fry just like last time. One, two, three. There's no head bobbing. It's a it dive. Yeah, only fish is gonna work for these osprey. And even so, they still won't go for it. They'll only bob their head when I give them a fish. Hmm, how to get them to eat french fries? I'd have to disguise it as a fish, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Almost like throwing confetti in the air, almost like not even noticeable at all. <laughs> yeah. All right, so maybe just try a few more. I don't really care. I'm just going to use these french fries up. I've had them for a few hours. One, two, three. No head bobbing. Yeah. The Osprey is actually closing his eyes, like he doesn't even care or even notice that this is happening. Isn't that something? What if I threw a tater tot? One, two, three! Hmm, he seemed to look a little bit, but no head bobbing now. So not a sign of hunting. Okay. All right, no head bobbing, so we'll try again. One, two, three. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna keep going until they're all gone. Hey, Osprey. The female branched onto another tree branch. That's good, okay. She's still good. One, two. I'm gonna throw this to the female. One, two, three. Wow, that went far. That was great, okay. Yeah, so, so far so good, okay. Do the same thing with this one. Are you ready, Osprey? You ready, female? All right, here's another one for the female. One, two, three. Wow, that went real far there. Well, not exactly, real far, but very close to the ground. All right, and now I'll just throw the other one like this. It almost rolled like a, like a, like a bowling ball in somewhat. 
So maybe that helps a little bit. Crumbs, I'll just dump the crumbs here. So a few more pieces of french fries. More french fries, there you go, more french fries, tons of them. There's all the french fries. Wow, holy crap, there's a grackle. Oh wow. That grackle noticed. Oh, it's one of those city birds. Yeah, so there's the grackle right there. I'm recording this with the camera, and while I'm recording this with the camera, the osprey is actually watching this grackle actually eating these tater tots. So I have to stand completely still. I can't make any moves because then I might lose this grackle. I know you can't see him very well, but I'm busy recording the osprey with my camera. So I'm really, really having this rolling at the same time. I have to stand completely still. I can't make any sudden movements at all. Okay. Uh-oh, he's about to use the bathroom. There it goes. It landed right near the fence there. Multitasking can be hard. I have to be prepared to stop the recording if this osprey flies off. Okay? Walking over to grab more. This osprey doesn't even care. It's okay. It's okay, osprey. I love birds. I always love birds. I love osprey, and I love this bird. What can I say? You know? He's calling his family to come. That's great, huh? Basically, the bird's saying, there's lots of food here. Come on, come on down. There's a buffet of food, and I'm inviting all of you to come. It's true. That's what basically he's saying. He's saying this to all these birds. Yeah, this is the best that I can do, unfortunately. An osprey will never go against its diet, ever. Even if it sees other birds eating it. It doesn't matter. I know that osprey's looking down at them. But believe me, these osprey don't want any of these tater tots or french fries. I should have gone with the fish. <laughs> I should have put a mix of things out. I should have put the fish out and I should have put the tater tots and french fries out. Because if I would have done all two of those things, then it's very possible the osprey would have been attracted to it because the other birds weren't scared by me. And since the other birds weren't scared by me, then the osprey would find it safe to come down also. So that's my basic guess on that. Sorry about that. I meant to film them from over here. There we go. Hmm, yeah. So what's that other bird that's behind him? Absolutely completely still. 
Like I'm not even moving an inch. Although my legs are going to get stiff because I'm literally sitting on them right now. Grackle has some help. I need, do need to adjust my legs, so this will only take me a second, okay? Hang on. It's okay. There we go. Okay, so that bird didn't get scared off by that. That's great. Okay. Um, that bird's going the wrong way. That bird's going where the food isn't there. Okay, so it seems like they like the tater tots better than the french fries. I guess that's not a surprise. Since the tater tots are like pretty much like pure potato. That's just mixed in breading. Whereas the french fries are basically fried potatoes. It's just kind of, the structure's just a little bit different. It's not quite like natural potatoes, really. But it's quite interesting that this grackle went for it. It seems like this grackle's moving away from the food now. And there's like a couple of the potatoes that's still there. Yeah, they're going the other way, so I'm going to stop this recording now. Because there's, there's nothing over there. Unless there's like little scraps that just somehow bounced over there, which is a possibility. It looks to me that this bird's eating some grubs instead. Alright, I'm going to stop this recording. Okay, so I stopped the cell phone recording, okay? That's alright. And the osprey's closing his eyes. Wow, that's great. So the grackle's moving away from the food now. But that's okay. No surprise there. So this is technically the closest I can get to both of them while being able to have both of them in my view because of the fact that there's actually some leaves to the right of the female. It's okay. The osprey just got a little nervous because saw those birds flying. But everything's good now. Alright, so let me, let me turn this camera over to film the female way quick. Oh wait, no. Always concerned about what the male is going to do. Okay, let me zoom this out way quick, okay? I'm going to turn this over towards the female. Yeah, and I think this is as far as I can zoom in. I don't think I can go it any further than that. Nope. Nope, oh, she's also closing her eyes also. Yeah, they're both doing the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, I like these Osprey. Alright, I'm going to play the video game while, uh, while I film these Osprey. I'm just going to set up shop right here. This is good.
The Osprey should be just fine with me being right here. This is a good spot. Oh, let's look down here way quick. The Osprey's talons. Okay, then we'll zoom back up again. Do have to. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta. I always have problems with my thing there. Why don't we just go ahead and zoom out a little bit? That's better. That way you can see the full Osprey in view. Can't get any better than that, that's for sure. She's looking down at something. What's she looking down at? Oh, she's stretching. She's just stretching her wings. Wait a minute, is she looking at... No, she can't be. Is she looking at the tater tots that's on the ground? Oh man, no. No way. No, no, no. I know she's not looking at that. She can't be. Mm. Hang on a second. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Try to get a better angle here. Oh. Hmm. I don't really have to really get that close on the Osprey, but eh, let me just zoom out. Uh, I always keep changing my mind really fast. I always change my mind easily on these things. And zoom in just a little bit so I can see her talons fully. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, now that's a good video right here. Now this is probably one of the best videos that I've done. The lighting is excellent. You really can't go wrong with this. You really can't. Now as the sun sets, you're, it's going to start getting a little more blurry. But this is the best that I can do. Alright, so let me talk about skill stock. All right, skill stock has been trading at around fifteen or sixteen dollars a share. It's been fluctuating, but it hasn't been fluctuating quite as violently as it has in the past, where it's gone from twelve dollars all the way to twenty-one dollars a share at one time. It's been relatively flat, and I can see a good bounce probably in the next week or two weeks or so. A good stock worth holding, but not a good stock worth buying. Because at this point, I don't know when this bounce is going to happen. It could happen a month from now, it could happen two months from now, four months from now. I'm just holding on to my 1,230 shares, and we'll just see what happens. But I, I am still selling 300 shares at 1950 a share. And those are the same 300 shares that I bought at $17 a share before earnings. So we're going to see what happens, and then we'll go from there. And I'm still selling half of my shares at $21.50 a share. All right, so that's that for skill stock. All right, back to the Osprey. Uh, 
I really want to get a better view of this osprey. I really do. Like, this is probably, like, one of the best. And I mean the best angles I could do. But, I, I wish I could be straight on with this osprey. That would be great. But there's going to be tr some trees obstructing the way. So I don't see how that's going to work out. I'll get slightly closer, but I don't know. I mean, now that I, now that I've threw the French fries and the tater tots on the ground, I don't know if I really want to get any closer. Because who knows? Maybe some other birds will show up and eat those. I know these osprey aren't going to go for them. That's for sure. I know as soon as I dumped that whole um, rest of the cup, the cup of french fries out, that grackle came like right, almost right away. Like when they know there's a lot of food available, they don't hesitate. And that's great. I'm talking about those grackle-like birds. I'm not talking about the osprey. <laughs> Calling to me? Are you talking to me, Osprey? What are you trying to tell me? You know, I have some French fries and tater tots on the ground if you want some, if you're hungry. I'm going to see if I can get just a little bit closer. I've made up my mind, okay? All right, let's 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 go ahead and do that. All right, we should be good. Okay, so let me just get my things on here. All right, so you already know what's going to happen. I'm just going to get closer now. All right, all right, all right, Osprey. All right, let me just get a little bit closer, all right? That's as close as I'll get, okay? All right, Osprey, cool, 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 cool. All right, good. Whew, he's okay with it, he's okay. really nice. Wow. I'm so happy this osprey let me get this close. So she seems to have quieted down for some reason. Hmm. Alright, so let me set these down for a sec, okay? I'm going to set all my things down, and I'm going to throw this piece of tater tot a little bit further. Oh, wait, what's going on here? She's looking down. What's she looking down at? What's she looking down at, Osprey? Alright, I was just throwing a couple of those tater tots a little bit further, further down. All right, good. All right, so that's that. So she seems to be quieting down now. What does that mean? Is that like a bad thing? I hope it's not. All right, let's zoom in on her head again. Or zoom in on the rest of her at least. Wow, she's closing her eyes. That's great. 
you know that both of these osprey are actually doing that. Yeah, I'm actually going to focus on the female just in case the male decides to mate with her before roosting time. Because I know that they have the tendency to do that before roosting. Yeah, I've seen it happen before. It could very well happen again today. Okay, it's okay, Osprey. It's all right. She's sleepy. She's sleepy. She's tired. I'm tired. So one thing I have noticed is that she does start quieting down when like all the people leave the recreation center. Don't you find that strange somewhat? I find these very strange osprey. I'll tell you one thing, these are the coolest osprey I've ever seen. They really are. I totally love these osprey. I love both of them.
Yeah, she just relieved herself. I just um, can't seem to zoom in like quite all the way because of the leaves and stuff that's underneath her. I can only get a clear focus if I zoom in, which is okay. That's exactly what I want. I like the close-ups. Close-ups are always great. Yeah, so both of these osprey have eaten recently, so that's good. So when's mating time, huh? You're both gonna start mating? You're gonna start performing for me? <laughs> Maybe. Closing one eye but not the other. <laughs> now she's closing both eyes. That's funny. Let me look down way quick. Yeah, I just wanted to look down there way quick. <sighs> Those are her beautiful talons right there. Alright, now I'm going to go back up to her head again. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Alright.
Wow, you're really making a lot of calls right there. Wow.
Uh oh, I'm starting to lose focus here. Hang on, let me, let me fix that. Okay, that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Let's try to zoom in a little bit more. I shouldn't lose focus, I should be good. Here we go, okay. a lot of calls there.
Oops, my focus got jacked up again. Here we go, okay. Perfect. Actually, maybe clarity would be better if I zoomed out a little bit, okay. Yeah, the brightness is a little bit better now. That's perfect. Um, Tom just used the restroom. Again. Yeah. Alright, he's coming. He's coming for you, okay? I know he's coming. I know he is. You'll see. You'll see. Oh. Uh-oh. She flew. She flies over to the nest. Okay. Alright, let's... Okay. Alright, and the... F okay, let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the meaning. Okay. Sorry you can't see it very well. I apologize. Yeah, they decided to do that at the nest this time. Yeah, it was relatively short, a little shorter than I expected, but I knew it. I knew they were going to be baiting. I just knew it. So that's great. Okay. <sighs> oh, well. All right. So, yeah, there's the osprey. And I don't even have to zoom in all the way either. You can still see the both of them right there in the nest. Alright, well, I better get going. Alright, that's what I wanted to see. So now that they're at the nest... Crap. Doing something wrong here.
Yes, let's just wait and see what happens here. They're just going to end up just checking up on the nest and then they're going to go roost. I don't think they're going to roost there. They're going to roost somewhere where there's less lights around. That's why I think that they're not, they choose not to nest there. Now there wasn't any lighting last year because they had the recreation center closed until like August or September. Well, maybe not August. I mean, probably like June or so. But by that point, the parents have already left the nest. get going now. It's almost roosting time. It's time for me to go too. They may decide to stay at the nest. They may decide to roost elsewhere. Who knows? I know they got some plans. I know I know they've got to really tidy things up before the female starts incubating. So they'll probably be at the nest a little bit more often at least. But we'll see. I'm going to exit a different way this time. A little bit further from the nest. And maybe the female won't fly off like right away like last time. So yeah, I could see them all cozy in the nest there. They're probably just waiting for me to leave so that they can leave. Alright, I'm going home now, Osprey. Huh. All right. All right, I'm going to zoom out. So I'm not too far from them. I'm like halfway across the field. So I'm going to exit like this. I will just keep on walking. All right, I'm going to zoom in on them one last time, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Alright, so there is both Osprey right there in the nest. Alright, so there is both Osprey at the nest. You can't see them very well when it's zoomed out, when it's zoomed in all the way. But there they are. Male and female, both together at the nest. Uh-oh, is she going to fly off? Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. There they are, both Osprey, standing right on top of the nest, still. Alright, so I guess they just, since they decide to meet in the nest, I guess that's where they're going to sleep at. Alright, I'm hopping in the car and I am out of here. Alright, that's it. I'm stopping this thing.